I think the last six months has been an amazing period of time for you know anyone who's been in business. We're not, we've not experienced this before. And I think the one thing that everyone can take from that last six months is that you can only control the controllable. So the first thing I would say to anyone in business is the first thing they need to do is just take a deep breath and just try and understand where, how they feel, how their stakeholders feel, you know, family, how your employees feel, how your clients are feeling. Because for you to take it forward, you've really got to get a sense of where everyone around you is. Once you've got that, I think, you know, to move forward in a period which is exceptionally uncertain, you need to stress test your business, stress test the cash flow. What's the drivers that generate the revenue? Who drive, who generates the revenue? And what I mean by stress testing is just basically trying to understand what could be the impact on the business with under a various levels of, of um, events. So there are some uh, businesses that are going to basically be able to get through this pretty neatly. And there's clearly other businesses that are really dependent on transactions, on activity, and that's the thing that's really difficult to get a handle on. So when you look at your own circumstance and, and really try and work through who gives me work, how are they running, how am I going to be able to, am I going to be able to source uh, what I need to supply? Once I have a sense of that, that then allows me to start to plan, you know, what my manpower looks like, what my supply chain looks like, how quickly do I need stuff? What's the running to Christmas looking like? So there's a lot of cash around in the system at the moment. I mean, the government uh, at all levels, um, the state, federal, have thrown a huge amount of stimulus, which you know is un unprecedented. That stimulus will start to ease out of the system. The funds that were available to business and the public generally through the banking systems is going to start to get a little tighter. The banks have got to start to, to um, test people's ability to start paying their mortgages again. So consequently, the run into Christmas is going to be, I think, okay. But I think uh, March and June next year are going to be really difficult. Two quarters. And so again, I come back. People need to be stress testing now how they think they will look like or what their, their environment will look like, say in March and June, is. Um, there's less government cash around. As we sort of creep out of COVID and into what I would call a normal recession, um, yeah, it's, it's a time to just um, understand where the cash is coming from. That's, that's really the key. And the people who do really, really well, the people who are gonna predict in a more optimistic way where the pathway out of this is, and, and they get their timing wrong. And that's always the case. Um, and at the moment, that's still a really, uh, I think a really difficult um, circumstance to pick.